Hi, I'm Yonash. This is the Variety Channel, because I hate specialization and I get bored easily. So I've already attached the light part of the fan. If at any point you want to skip this intro sequence, I do have chapters, so keep that in mind. Basically, the fan's not turning at all. I came across a video in the thumbnail that looked like the same type of fan that I had, and they said a common problem was the capacitor failing. So look at that. The dude is right. If your fans don't run, I suggest opening it up and looking at the state of your capacitor. Let's just try to get the model number. Here is the old attachment for the fan. The parts that I kept organized in the bag so they wouldn't get lost. The tools I will be using for this job. The new capacitor and the wire connectors. Important note for the capacitor. You want to get the capacitor that has the same number of wires on the same sides. And you also want to match the microfarads printed on the capacitor itself. Let me briefly go over the process I went through to remove the light part of the fan. That's actually quite heavy. And then we can move on with the actual repair. First decision you want to make is what you will be standing on. Actually, a step ladder would be probably the best, but I don't have a step ladder. I used this one originally to take the fan part off, but I'm not fond of that. <laughs> and I mean this is more stable, but a smaller area to walk on. Now I'm only reenacting me taking it off instead of putting the effort of actually putting it back on. This part was attached with three screws. For the first screw, you want to position yourself just nearest whichever one you want. But then for the next screws, you want to reposition where you can get access to both. That way, you won't have to have the whole weight of this being held on one single screw. After that, it was only these two wires that were connected with wire connectors. Disconnect that, and then this part can be safely removed. Also, before you start any of this, please turn off the light. Let's get to the actual repair. So on the left side of the capacitor, if you look at all of these count, this is the front, there are two gray wires. I assume they're both ground, but in case there is an actual difference, I'm just gonna keep the orientation that is previously there. I will be marking the front wire with this tape, and then that way I won't get them mixed up. I'm gonna cut these wires as close to the capacitor as possible just in case I make mistakes and I'm gonna need more length of wire. This multi-tool has a good feature of being able to cut wires with this, not just strip them. Two at a time. And that is one capacitor removed. On further inspection, some of these have pre-applied solder and I don't have a soldering iron on me. I'm gonna cut some length off. That works incredibly well. And also, I can move this part uh, just to have an even amount that is taken off. Eh, it's fine. Yeah, I definitely should have moved the guide. Now that we have that, there should be nothing in my way to make this work. Now I must strip the wires over here. I will start with the front. So you want to twist them together, and then they can be secured with the cap, which you just want to screw on. That's one. It's again the other gray cable. Kind of want to spread this guy out a bit. Get in there, twist. Now this can be secured. Screwed on. Just got to do color matching. All right, assuming everything was done correctly, as soon as I flip this switch, the fan should turn on. Okay, I flipped the switch, nothing is happening. It's working! <laughs> Let me turn that off. <laughs> now that it's confirmed the fan is actually working again, I can put this back on. Yeah, yeah! Okay, I'm kind of happy about that. How am I going to do this? I won't be held in by screws or anything. So I have to connect it and then also put the screws in. So what I'll do is put all the materials I need in my pocket that I won't immediately use. So the screws and everything is in place. Let me make sure this is on Titan. It's not on Titan. Uh, I think we can do this. I want to be in a position where I can access two of the screw holes. Hmm. That is one wire secure. 
And I just dropped one. I did not put a spare in my pocket, so that's rather unfortunate. I'm gonna have to remove this. <sighs> that sucks. Feeling warm up here. Now I'm gonna double check to make sure these are all tight. Get the first screw. You know what, I'll keep that in my pocket while I line up this and make sure everything can fit. Hand tighten first. I can't get it to lay flush, but now we know it can be held by a single screw. Well, I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, so the problem is this part, there's electronics, and it has to line up with the groove here. And then that way we can be flush. Okay, all the screws are in. First, okay, lights work. Lights, switch works, and the fan works. Okay, now that I've tested that everything works, I'm just gonna tighten up the blades. I hope you found this video helpful. I found it quite strenuous and my left arm hurts. If I change to the highest speed, it's very loose on the mounting bracket. I don't feel comfortable with it shifting that much in use. So let's try to fix it. So the mounting bracket held on with two screws. These only have to be loosened a bit. I'm using the bendy thing because I just don't have a screwdriver small enough. I'm just gonna do it a little bit on each side. It should be enough to get back like clearance. This can be twisted and then all of that does not seem very tight. Basic plan of attack here, tighten everything I can see. Oh wow, I can't even access like anything, dude. Okay, um, you know what? I can't right now. I don't know why my alarm is going off. We're just gonna call it there. What am I doing, man?